My name is Clemens Heska. I'm at the Department of Chemistry at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. And I have the honor of being one of the four meeting chairs for this exciting MRS Fall 2010 meeting. So well, this is a very big meeting. We have 49 symposia all together, some of them focusing on nanoscience, other them focusing on materials for energy, the interface between material science and biology. So there's actually quite a few hot topics, so depending on who you ask, they will tell you it's their hot topic. Uh, it ranges from Nobel laureates to students who will be the next generation of material scientists and that will uh, develop the revolutions that are going to come. Uh, nanoscience is a very big aspect of this meeting here and there are a myriad of new materials properties that will come out of that line of research. I've been coming to uh, MRS meetings since uh, 1981. I first attended the meeting over in the Park Plaza Hotel. It's a much smaller meeting than it is today. Well, my name is Neville Moody. I'm from Sandia National Laboratories in Livermore, California. I work a lot on thin films and nanomechanics and looking at small volumes. And one of the things I'm interested in here in the fall meeting, it's my favorite meeting of the year. It's in Boston, great location. But here there's a lot of forefront research. So a lot, I pick up a lot of information that I can use. But I think the most important thing I find about attending the MRS fall meeting is that all the contacts and people I meet in the hallway, all those personal connections that I meet again year after year, that really makes this a rewarding meeting. My name is Adrienne Williams. I am a graduate student at Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I actually came here to do an oral talk that happened on Monday morning on the dimensional changes of carbon nanostructures through silicon carbide decomposition. And actually, I'm just producing single wall carbon nanotubes and graphene through decomposition of silicon carbide. Over the years, the uh, breadth and depth of the fields that are covered at the MRS meetings has expanded tremendously. These meetings are the place to be for uh, breaking news in uh, materials research. So material science and material research is a really important aspect of our business. We sell a wide range of products from NMRs, spectroscopy, microscopy products, and, and a, a whole host of instrumentation products that are really focused on material researchers and companies that build products that use material science. So this conference represents one of the, one of the most important conferences in the, in the world, really, for material science. So it's a very logical place for us to come here and meet customers and prospects. We have new problems for us to solve. I always learn things when I come to uh, MRS meetings. I take that information back with me and it helps me in my work. Hello, I'm Simarjeet Gill. I work for Brookhaven National Lab. Uh, I'm currently involved in uh, alternate sources of energy research. I work in the field of geothermal energy where I look at possibilities of supercritical CO2 as a working fluid in geothermal wells. And also I'm looking at uh, radiation damage on steels. Overall, I think we have realized that material, material science is one of the cornerstones of, if you would put it, the grand challenges. So we have begun to partner with European MRS, with the Japanese Society of Applied Physics, with other MRSs around the world, with our partners in Mexico where we now hold an annual meeting. And so there's a continuous evolution of this networking going on worldwide to address these big challenges.